Hey everybody, Evan here. In wrapping up this galactic series, we're going to go over how galaxies are classified. The Hubble Sequence. How are galaxies classified? Well, in 1926, American astronomer Edwin Hubble invented a galactic morphological classification scheme known as the Hubble Sequence, commonly referred to as the Hubble Tuning Fork, based on the shape of the diagram it's traditionally represented in. This scheme is most significantly divided into two main groups, elliptical and spiral galaxies. On the left, as represented here, are elliptical galaxies, and are numbered based on how round or flattened they are, beginning with E0, a nearly spherical galaxy, and progressing to E7, a flatter ellipsoidal one. In the middle of this diagram, S0, are what is known as lenticular galaxies, the intermediate phase bridging spiral and elliptical galaxies together. This type of galaxy contains a bright central bulge surrounded by a disk structure, but without any sort of spiral formation, containing ancient stars and very little interstellar gas. From this point, the classifying system branches off into two different kinds of spiral galaxy, regular and barred, both lettered A to C based on how tightly wound their spiraling arms are. SA or SBA, for instance, are those of which that have more compact, tighter wound arms than galaxies belonging to SC or SBC having loosely wound arms. A fourth type of galaxy are those with an irregular shape, falling under no ordinary class in the Hubble sequence due to their complete lack of structure. Commonly used nomenclatures such as early type galaxies for ellipticals and late type for spiral galaxies has often led to the belief that the Hubble sequence was intended to present a model of galactic evolution, starting from elliptical onto lenticular to either regular or barred spiral galaxies. This is not the case. As stated in an article written by Hubble, sequence of the spirals is subdivided into three sections of approximately equal length, termed early, intermediate, and late respectively. This is an arbitrary procedure and is adopted merely because it is possible to distinguish the middle section from the two ends. The nomenclature, it is emphasized, refers to position in the sequence, and temporal connotations are made at one's peril. The entire classification is purely empirical and without theories of evolution. This model would actually be the opposite of the galactic evolution system, as evidence and research shows that spiral and irregular galaxies comprise most in the early universe, turning into elliptical galaxies through galactic collisions. Alright guys, I think that's a good way to wrap up this galactic series. Here are the other three videos in the playlist. And uh, as always, share the video and please subscribe because it gives me tons of inspiration to make the best videos I know how. See you guys next time.